Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be taking the next step in developing our Airbnb clone project diving into the world of web development. We'll create a new directory named Web Statics inside our Airbnb clone repository. This directory will be crucial for organizing our static assets efficiently. Our focus will be on Web Static, and I will organize everything neatly to keep things simple and straightforward. Let's get started. First, Inside our Airbnb clone repository, we'll create a new directory named Web Statics. This directory will be the foundation of our static web files. Now that we have our Web Statics directory set up, let's take it a step further and create two more folders inside it. The first directory we'll create is Images. Here we'll store all the images we'll be using for our web pages. Having all the images in one place will make our lives a lot easier as we develop our Airbnb clone. Next up is the Styles directory. This is where we'll keep all our CSS files. Organizing our CSS separately helps maintain a clean structure and makes it simpler to manage styles across our web pages. As a bonus tip, remember to comment your code. Comments will make it easier for you and others to understand the purpose and functionality of each section of code. And that's it. With our Web Statics directory, Images folder and Styles directory all set up and organized, we're ready to start building our Airbnb clone web application. For your convenience, I've already prepared the necessary image files, CSS files, and HTML files, so you can focus on learning and building your skills. Before we end, we want to thank you for your support. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more exciting web development tutorials. Until next time, Happy coding!